Heidi ho YouTubers! So it finally happens. That episode you've been dreading, fearing all this time. The fecal matter impacts the oscillating air movement device. No power at the power lines. The grocery store shelves go empty. And the pumps don't work. What will you do? This series is supposed to introduce you to backyard and green technologies that can help in that situation. What would you say if I told you you can run a gasoline engine on wood? I'm going to introduce to you a backyard technology. It's been around a long time. It's called wood gas generation. Sometimes producer gas or syn gas. Using this technology, all of a sudden in that SHTF scenario, an awful lot of things that make your survivability possible come back within your reach. The simplest explanation for this technology is that if you light a match and look closely, you'll notice that there's a gap between the wood and the bottom of the flame. What's really happening there is that the heat of the flame breaks the wood down into more simple components. And gases are emitted, mostly hydrogen and carbon monoxide, highly flammable gases. And as the gases rise, it's them that actually burn. If you can siphon some of those gases off, leaving only enough to maintain the flame. Then you can use the gases that you siphon off and they'll burn in a gasoline engine. Anything from small lawnmower engines all the way through motor vehicles and even large trucks. You can imagine the possibilities that open up for you in a survival situation. All of a sudden, you're able to charge batteries, have transportation, and even run a, an electric chainsaw, for example. This technology could save your life. It's a bit complicated but can be built out of scrap metal and pipes and certainly within the reach of anyone with medium handyman skills. Every one of you out there watching this video knows at least someone, friend, family, neighbor, even if you can't do this yourself, that would be able to duplicate this process. I'm going to post a link over in the sidebar to a PDF put out by, of all people, FEMA. You should at the very least go buy yourself an ink cartridge and print off a hard copy of that PDF. It gives some pretty detailed instructions for a simple wood gas producer. In the meantime, if you want to experiment, I'm going to post a couple of links to what's called a wood gas stove. A simple way of harnessing this process and taking those gases and using them to the most efficiency for heating a pot or a pan. 
a little cook stove. I built one, was able to get one ounce of wood pellets to burn for 20 minutes. They're simple and made out of an old paint can and some tin cans. A good way to get your feet wet. Well, I hope with the links I've provided over in the sidebar that you'll do some studying on this subject. Like I said before, it might just save your life in an SHTF scenario. Remember, you have to plan, prepare, experiment, think outside the box. We'll get through this.